Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess, which is my desk, and this is a very quick video for Sean, uh, whose bonsai wing's been and turned up today. So, Sean, this video is for you. But if you're watching this and your name's not Sean, uh, you can still come in. Uh, and we are going to be talking about the Elevon movement and the default settings which you want uh, for your bonsai wing. So let me go and get my Tyrannus. Turned up. As you can tell, I do like my Tyrannus to talk to me a lot. Okay, so the sticker on low rates. Now, before I go and even put a battery in, is that I'd like for you just to spot, and I'm, let me find a ruler. I know I've got one here somewhere, got a ruler. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you're anything like me, that when I first started with the flying wings is that I thought that it was a really good idea to have the Elevon going straight down. So that would be really logical for it to, have, for it to be like that. But in reality, you want your center position to be up slightly. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. In fact, maybe just let me just do a side view. It is like that. Can you see that it's actually tipping upwards? You generally, uh, sorry, you normally need a little bit of up in them. Okay, so let me just get this around on the side so you can really can see it and put the ruler next to it. Is that I don't know if you can see that. Is that there is definitely some up which has been uh, set into the servos for the Elevons. So let's go and pop a battery on the bottom and you can see the kind of movements which I fly with. Now, I will immediately tell you, uh, you only really wanna fly this in low rates to begin with, okay? I have medium rates and then I have mental rates and you really need to get some experience in, especially to get used to the orientation of these little wings because on my high rates it spins ridiculously fast and the most I've ever counted and been able to pull out of is 19 spins uh, and that's just trying to count it, it's just bonkers and the, by the way that wasn't on uh, a high rate so let's get her plugged in, right there she goes, Oh, actually, this model's not the best one to show you because look how far I've had to trim these out uh, on mine uh, because this is the mental bonsai. So let me go and grab the normal bonsai, which is right here. And let me swap models. Uh, apologies, I'd, I'd forgotten how much. Switch warning, engine off. Torque movement that little uh, racing quad motor causes on the wing. So let's get that one. There we go. Right. I don't know if you can see that, but that's my that's my default movement. Okay. So that's on low rates. So, and you'll also notice, like I was saying, is that that Elevon is definitely, definitely coming up a touch. All right. So it's not it's not straight with the wing. It's coming up at the back. Now, if I move some of this stuff out of my way, out of my desk, is let's see how much movement I've got in there. And let me just put that there. So we're sat, let's do this in, oh, great. It's gonna be in inches by the looks of it because, oh, actually no, I'm gonna put it around that way. So right now she is on two and a half centimeters and I hope you can see this on the screen. It's probably gonna be a little bit awkward. So if you can't see it properly, Right now, the top of the Elevon is two and a half centimeters, and the top of the Elevon is going up to four. So I've got two centimeters, or thereabouts, of movement going on. And that's what I class as my low rates, okay? So that's up, down, which is basically the same amount of movement, and then right and left, I've got, I'll have the same amount of movement. So that's low rates. Okay, if I chuck her up on middle rates, is, in fact, why don't I just leave that on the desk a second? So, that's low rates. You can see her trying to pull up even more. There's middle rates. And then high rates. It's pretty much mental. You can see how far those other ones are coming up and going down. I would not suggest that for you. Okay, something that much movement is scary, 
okay? And you definitely want to put at least 30% expo uh, in your movements. Let's put it down to low rates. So just a little bit of movement is going to be fine. Also, Sean, when you go to launcher as well, is that they do sag a little bit uh, when you take them off. So make sure you get a gripper like this on the side. Uh, give about half throttle and then give her a really, really good chuck. Uh, uh, up at about 20, 30 degrees, something like that. And uh, plenty of throttle. Uh, and yeah, just go steady. Get her up high ish because this thing will go into a dot in the sky very very quickly uh, and then just go careful with the movements okay so not too much uh, and yeah that's it oh and just in case you're interested let me go to my screen so that's what I've been let me click on the camera so I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on there because I can hardly see it on the screen what I've been in done, in fact, I'll take a photograph and stick it on your screen for you. Uh, is what I've been in done is set the rates up, the rate switch Metal rates, low rates. up here uh, in the input section rather being than being in the mixer. Uh, and also, what I've been in done, and again, I don't know if that's going to come out very well, is that in my mixer, uh, by default, the Elevon mixing in a Tyrannus is set to 50. So you have 50 Ele uh, Elevon. 50 aileron uh, and I've set mine to 100 so I can get that extra movement out of it. Now I would strongly suggest that you don't do that. Go for really really small movements to begin with and of course you can change your transmitter uh, to have more movement later. All right. So Sean, I hope that helps you. Uh, and if you're not, if your name's not Sean, <laughs> I genuinely do hope this little quick video has been and helps you as well. Uh, the bonsai, great little wing. And um, yeah, just go careful of those Elevon movements as well. So with that said, for myself, Matt, as always, cheerios.